so we uh, worked on the Australian lungfish, uh, which is a fish that lives in muddy waters and has a very interesting physiology that's of interest to evolutionary biologists. While many people are interested in understanding how animals came up from the water in evolutionary times to conquer land. So how did we get here? And um, this lungfish is the animal um, that's thought to be the closest fish to the ones that eventually somehow crawled up onto land and started the whole process of making four-legged, of evolving into four-legged animals. So I, I worked with Eli Tanaka, or rather Eli Tanaka initiated the Axolotl Genome Sequencing Project, um, which I was involved in. I assembled and um, yeah, I assembled the, the axolotl genome. So this is why we were also approached um, in order to, to um, work on the, the lungfish genome. Axolotl has a really big genome. It's 10 times the size of the human genome. And we were in the lucky situation um, to be able to work with excellent computer scientists who offered to assemble this giant uh, genome sequence um, uh, for us and uh, that we could analyze what's in this genome and to work with this uh, our organism um, And then it turns out that this um, Australian lungfish which is of such evolutionary interest also has a huge genome So it's even bigger than the x level genome. So it really posed the next challenge for um, assembling um, a very large genome of an interesting animal and so we were really um, happy that our group had this experience um, to work with the computer scientists who assembled the genome and then to analyze um, what's inside this genome uh, together with the evolutionary biologists who have really spent their careers thinking about this um, animal. We were really involved in the technical aspects um, of assembling and analyzing the genome, confirming that the assembly was correct. And uh, the Meyer, uh, Shardell, and also Oleg Simikov's group uh, here in Vienna uh, were involved in really looking at the uh, sequences in the genome and making conclusions about what was there. The, the main importance of this paper, I think, is, is that, that we sequenced and assembled a lungfish. So this hasn't been done so far and that we sequence the one that is, that is um, perceived to be the most important one from an evolutionary perspective. And the, the remnants of the adaptations that we find w within that genome shed some light on the transition from a marine lifestyle to a terrestrial lifestyle.